What's up everyone, it's your boy Noren Rad 89 here bringing you another video and you know it's Wrestlemania weekend that means we're off to another wrestling prediction video and today it's going to be the biggest Wrestlemania of all time is what they're telling us that's when Triple H has been saying it's Wrestlemania XL, it's in Philadelphia today we're going to go over the card I'm going to give you my predictions and all that kind of stuff I might have some predictions on the fly, I don't know I'm feeling a little, looking at my list now I'm kind of feeling a little different maybe about some of the decisions so stay tuned to this video Video. I hope you all enjoy this. Roll it. So yes, we have a two-night event Saturday and Sunday in Philadelphia, WrestleMania XL, WrestleMania 40, a big event. There's a lot of cool matches on this card, some some mediocre ones that I'm kind of like I really don't care about, but then there's some really cool ones on this card that I'm excited for. So let's start off with what I think is the easiest choice for Ronest for real. I think this one's just a slam dunk. Rhea Ripley retaining her title. I think Rhea Ripley is just the golden goose right now. There's really nothing you can do to stop that. And I think her momentum, they're going to keep it rolling. You know what I mean? I think she needs to hold on to the title a little bit more. So I think Rhea Ripley is going to retain against Becky Lynch. Next up, we have our United States title match, and that's Logan Paul, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens. And this one I'm giving to Randy Orton, man. He's looking at, like, the prime of his life. He's in really good physique, physician, and or physique, and I think he's going to do good with a, you know, little mid-card title run with that United States title. You can have some other really good wrestlers go up against him and have some really good matches. And then when it comes down to our next pay-per-view, you know, like, Randy Orton could put someone over and stuff like that. So I think Randy Orton winning the United States title is the best decision in this point but um i would like to see kevin owens i really wouldn't mind if kevin owens won because i really do enjoy ko too he's one of my favorite wrestlers as well next up we have dirty dom going against Rey mysterio and this one i believe this one is a tag match i believe i think i can't remember but there's other people involved in this one as well but i'm actually going to give this one this one i was switching i had this one for Rey mysterio but I'm going to give this one to Dirty Dom. I actually think Dirty Dom's going to take this one. So, you know, Judgment Day, I think they're still going to have a little bit of their, you know, momentum going on. And they're going to keep it going. Like I said, Rhea, I don't think their destruction or their demise is coming just yet. Now we have AJ Styles versus LA Knight. And I should have said, too, this is in no particular order. We're just rambling off through all the matches right now. No particular order. Just giving you stuff. <laughs> I just started with Rhea because I thought that was the slam dunk one. So LA Knight and AJ Styles, I'm going to give this one to LA Knight you know he's right now kind of the new people's champ and I think you need to keep that momentum going he really deserves a title around his belt but or around his waist so we'll see maybe this year that sometime during this year we might see LA Knight with a title like you know a good intercontinental title run United States title run something like you need to give this man something else speaking of intercontinental titles we have Gunther who is going to defend against Sami Zayn and for me what I think for honest I think Sammy's gonna get this one. I really do think Sami Zayn deserves the win and he's gonna get the victory over Gunther in this decision and it's gonna be a really powerful moment. I think Sami Zayn needs a good intercontinental title run and he deserves it because he's been pretty much a very consistent baby face and the fans just love him and like I said he's very consistent in the work and the stuff that he puts on screen. Now we have our brother versus brother match that's going to pin Jay Uso against Jimmy Uso and I'm actually going to give this one to main event Jay Uso. I think main event is just hot right now. Another one that you're going to have to give it to him. They can do some really good stuff with this match. I'm not as invested with this as I was say like Matt versus Jeff Hardy. That was much more a more like epic moment kind of match plus they involved a lot of ladders and tables and all kinds of stuff involved with that sorry if you could hear something knocking on my door right here it's extremely windy outside my house right now so that's this knocking against my door outside there's just the wind <laughs> but yes i'm gonna give this one to main event jay uso so we have our girls triple threat like tag match type thing it's a six man or six woman tag match thing going on we have the jade cargill and bianca and them teaming and naomi teaming up against damage control and i'm I'm actually going to give this one to damage control. A lot of people are predicting that Bianca Belair is going to turn heel on this night, and I really think they're going to cause some problems. I, I think just having Jay Cargill and them win, you're not going to get anything out of that. I 
really don't think you're going to get anything out of that. So I think damage control is going to get the win, possibly with Bianca, maybe backstabbing Naomi and Jade Cargill or something like that of to that nature. Next up, we have Io Sky versus Bailey. Io Sky is defending her title, and I think Bailey is going to take the victory here. I think she deserves the victory. She needs it. I think Bailey is just a slam dunk to me. One of the most consistent all around female wrestlers. She's got great mic skills. She's great in the ring, and she's fantastic just in terms of personality and what she brings to the screen. So I think Bailey deserves a title run for sure, and I think she's going to beat EO Sky. Now we have Seth Rollins defending his title against Drew McIntyre. This is a pretty big one. I know Drew McIntyre has kind of created this new character that he's really running with on screen you know what I mean and it's really like this new character that he's really sinking his teeth into Seth Rollins is at the height of his career has just never really been better this man is the pinnacle and I think the peak of WWE right now I know Cody is the hot baby face but I think Seth Rollins is really the best best one they got going on right now I really do and I think Seth Rollins I I in my heart I want him to win I think Drew is going to win. I think Drew McIntyre is going to win. But I I put down Seth Rollins to win. I, I think Seth Rollins is going to win. I want him to win. But like that's my heart. But my mind is telling me that I think Drew is going to win. So this one's kind of a bit of a toss-up. Now we have our tag match, and that's Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth. And this one right here has implications for night two. And I think Rock and Roman are going to win this one, and there's going to be bloodline rules for night two. And I think night two is just going to be full of shenanigans, full of run-ins. We're going to see baby faces. We're going to see heels. We're going to see all kinds of attacks all, on all fronts, basically. No disqualification, just like said, shenanigans, bonanza. And I think, like I said, Rock and uh, Roman are going to take the tag match on night one. Leading us into night two, though, Cody versus Roman for the title. And with all the shenanigans and the bloodline rules going on, I still think this time Cody's going to be able to come away with the title because you can have, we had Cody lose that first time. Our second match right now, Roman loses to Cody. And you can set up an awesome third rubber match for possibly possibly SummerSlam if you want to go as soon as SummerSlam. But you can hold this off to even WrestleMania, the next one, 41, if you want to, for a third match of Roman versus Cody. But I wouldn't mind if they did it at SummerSlam, the third match, the rubber one. But yeah, I think Cody needs to win this time for sure. And last but not least, before I forget, I almost forgot about this one. Or I think it's the six-pack ladder match for the tag, undisputed tag titles, which I think Finn Balor and Damian Priest, I think they are still going to retain. There's a lot of other fun tag teams going on. I can possibly see Ms. Truth getting it. They can possibly get the win. Even DIY, I can see DIY pulling it out because fan base really does love them. But in terms of the storyline, I don't think the demise, like a set of Judgment Day, is going to happen just yet. So I think Finn Balor and Damian Priest are going to find a way to retain in this ladder match. But thanks for sticking around with me all for another wrestling prediction video. Please let me know down below in the comment section what are your predictions for WrestleMania XL Night 1 and Night 2. Do you have some bold predictions? I would love to hear from all of you down below. But thank you for sticking around with me for this video. Like the video. That definitely helps out the channel. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and have that notification bell poked so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.